$10,000 each incident, $5,000 for every five minutes illegally detained. Okay. I'm, I'm not exactly clairvoyant, but I can go ahead and tell you, you ain't getting none of that damn money. Well, since we did the follow-up this morning, I thought that we would redo the original. Now, this is what got him arrested and in a tent, and this is the video that got him, or got his car, put in impound. Enjoy. All right, guys, so I uh, got stopped by the Boston police. I was uh, literally just about to head out. Just got done visiting my friends, so uh, they look like they're like being kind of strict, so I just wanted to go live they're being strict you mean they're enforcing the law yeah I actually have the Constitution in the window here sir and uh, American jurisprudence the conflicts of law you know I'm actually an investigator with the National Action Task Force right. wow that sounded strangely like you're trying to impersonate a post-certified police officer what that so, is and what that means, but yeah. you need to have a driver's license or some kind of registration on this car. Yeah. Um, I'm totally legit, sir. I don't believe you are, sir. Yeah. Where are you? That's okay, officer. Nobody believes he's legit. Where are you coming from? What state? I'm, I'm a traveler. So I live. What state were you traveling before this? I just drove from uh, S South Carolina from here. Up to here? Yeah. How is it now that you drove from South Carolina when you're a traveler? Which is it? Visiting a friend here in Boston. Well, so, you, have no, you have nothing on you, no ID or anything like that. Yeah, yeah I do, this, sir. This is my private identification. I you, tried to hand it to you multiple times. Though, do you know what I mean? No, sir, so I... You don't have a driver's license? I've no canceled my contracts car. with the government. So, I, or no, you guys no longer have jurisdiction to, uh, you know, prosecute and tow my vehicle because it's no longer under your jurisdiction. I've canceled... That's horseshit, sir. I got some bad news for you there, Thomas. You need to probably study up on the 10th amendment you are in their jurisdiction hey, you don't have to reach no, no, no. So, guys just relax well, okay we're fine. I'm, I'm fine. We're relaxed. You, you're on you're on instagram live i have about fifty thousand followers I understand. and i don't cons no sir i'm a i'm a traveler have i done anything wrong oh so many Things. We're trying to figure that out, but right now you have no license. I don't know who you are, and your car's unregistered. Yeah, but that's not a that's not a crime, sir. Well, so, uh, you're illegally driving an illegal, uninsured vehicle. I'm pretty sure that's illegal. Okay, and since you are escalating, can you please get your sergeant out here? And can you tell me what law requires him to get a manager out there for you? Sure. Thank you, sir. And uh, since you are going to physically remove me from my vehicle, so you know. have to take my notice because this is public public notice to your agency yeah. and it becomes incumbent and advantageous for you to read it because it's legally binding. That is not legally binding in this country. Now, this made up fantasy world that you live in. Yeah, it might be binding there, but not in the United States. Swing and a miss strike too. From the moment I hand you this, it's legally binding. So take this, sir. So he's refusing to take my documents here. What's your name, sir? Sir, what's your name? My name's Al. What's your badge number? Thank you, sir. Are you, you you're the conducting officer in this in this incident? All right, here you go. Here's, see, that's that's actually uh, it's actually uh, illegal for him to refuse a public notice. Great. Can you, can you, you know, quote the U.S. code that says that he has to take your bullshit made up document? Just a traveler, man. I live, I live in my van, dog, yeah, and I'm, yeah. I'm just standing up for my rights in a world full of oppression. I, I turned on my interior lights and put down my windows so you guys, right? I'm just, yeah, we the people, man. You got. Yeah, you've taken an oath to protect so, and defend uh, the Constitution, bro. You want to defend other drivers on the road who might be, you don't have insurance or anything, Yeah, right? Yes, I do, so, sir. If you would take a minute, I, I have, I, I am legally bonded under a silver right. bond. Right. I, so, you're just disregarding me because, listen, you have been hired to enforce public policy. Mm -hmm. I've canceled those contracts. I am now a private. So what do you do in the winter? Do you drive this car in the winter? Yeah, and yeah. You, you shovel the roads yourself? Boom. Roasted. 
No, well, no, there's oh, no. You use the taxpayers' dollars, and when you want to travel H in the winter, HJR right? 192, Public okay. Law 73-10. They did away with money in 1933, sir. Oh, okay. Yeah. Which one's car with? Fiat currency, because it's the accepted method of exchange today. Well, if it was done away with, how is it accepted? You no, know, I'm just trying to explain to you, sir. You're not willing to I'm take my to document. You Fiat exchange 1933. Yeah. Get away with money. You're traveling from South Carolina. Your name is yeah. Thomas. I'm hearing you, bro. Yeah, yeah. I'm hearing you work with the NEA Action Trust, right? You got open container gasoline in the car, which is not really good. It's very dangerous. You know, we're just concerned about you. All you're right, so Pre appreciate your concern, sir. I'm not trying to. I'm just standing up for my rights. You I know, you you, you don't have any rights if you don't stand for hey, them. I, you I know. Feel you, my man. You need to stand up for your right to get some damn hair plugs. And see how you you just you you could have easily violated me. And if I would allow you to, yeah. the general public just allows you to do that. You actually broke the law by opening my door. I did, huh? Yeah. Oh yeah, you did. You're not. You can't do that. I didn't give you permission. You need a constitutionally lawful warrant in order to touch my property. You cannot deprive me of my property or without due process of law, sir. I understand. So am I being detained right now? Oh yeah. Yeah, it's actually ten thousand dollars per incident. If you don't have a constitutionally lawful warrant signed by a magistrate judge in wet ink, you can't illegally detain me unless you have reasonable articulate suspicion that I'm in the process of committing a crime. He has RAS that you're committing several crimes. And hey, let me know how it goes collecting on that ten thousand dollars an hour or a minute, whatever it is. Probable cause. Do you have any of those, sir? Yep. You you have reasonable articulate suspicion that I've committed a crime? Yes, I do. What what crime was committed? That's a traffic infraction. Driving out of no, it's is it a cr criminal it, in the state, sir. You'd be arrested for it. No. Like I said, uh, we have a supervisor on our way. We're going to talk to him and find out what's Under the on, Constitution, right? those are I these are so. victimless crimes, sir. Well, guess what, jackass? It's not a victimless crime when you're uninsured illegal vehicle that shouldn't be on the road operated by you because you're not qualified to operate it slams into a car full of kids tell me is that still a victimless crime you're legally bound right now the american national people the creator will uh you know they that we have our whole legal we have a we have a federal court so case file this is going to be an instagram you said or you yeah yeah this, this is on uh uh my instagram channel which is the gift of eternal life Okay. And I, I also post it on Facebook as well. So I have a large following. I educate officers and I also educate the public on public and private law. You're a bitch. So, you know, and I'm in, I'm a, one of the lead investigators with the National Action Task Force. Yeah. Flynn, you, you can explain your situation. Sounds good. Uh, I was trying to give him public notice of my private capacity. He's refused multiple times, you know, and, uh, you know, I just, I'm just educating, uh, I educate the officers and, and the public on public and private law. Oh, okay. So you are recognized by the police officers' standards and training, yes? So I've canceled all my government contracts. I'm now living in the private. This is my private conveyance. I've canceled my license. I no longer contract with the government. Okay, and I have the Constitution right here. You guys took in an oath to protect and defend my constitutional right to privacy. You guys cannot force me to contract with government agencies. You know, and I cancel my license. license. Black's law definition well, of driving is to be. It doesn't matter what Black's law dictionary says, because it's a dictionary. It's a reference. It's not an actual law book. You got to get off the pipe, dude. So here's official notice to your agency. You must take this, sir because it becomes legally binding once you and if you refuse it it's ne reckless negligence because it informs you about my rights and if you violate them my my nation's embassy is in california and of course it is identification which is copyrighted and i'm 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 legally indemnified through our silver bond which is my my legally res yeah, so I've canceled all my contracts. Like, I've canceled all my contracts. I'm no longer in your. You did have one though. Did you pass uh, that on that ID, please? 2018. Yeah, and that well, this goes with it. So this is legal notice that goes with my ID. Legal notice in order this, to this, all. This is an ID yeah. which is what? My American what national that? identification. This, national American this is for your agency as well, sir. You guys must take this notice. And yes, what law? What is the statute? that says they have to take your bullshit paperwork. Um, See, they're refusing again, guys. I have and this is where he stole a bunch of 
vaccines because he's an anti-vaxxer. You get pulled over quite a bit when was the last time you get pulled over? Uh, it's been a while, actually. You know, you guys are the first ones. But, um, I mean, I've been pulled over, like, that's, like, why I'm so popular because uh, they pull me over all the time. And, I, you know what I'm saying? Some, this, he's, like, not even trying to hear what I have to say. But a lot of people, a lot of officers are interested. They know I'm, I'm not just talking out the side of my mouth. Well, no, it's because they know you're talking out the back of your ass. Right, right. You guys, you guys are hired to uphold public policy, which they're they're value, they're, they're actually liable. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. When you contract, but I've sent in notice. I've sent in all the documentation con canceling my contracts due to the lack of full disclosure on their end. Is my right to travel freely and un unencumbered and unfettered as a, on the common way of mankind during this time? That's court. That's Supreme Court justice ruled since the 1800s. But. They've also ruled, and with the Tenth Amendment, that guess what? You need a driver's license in all 50 states in this country, all right? It doesn't matter what state you get it from or what state you use it in, but you are required by law to have one. I purchased the vehicle. Well, it's my private property. Yeah. You, you don't, you're not going to show us the VIN? You're not gonna no, it's my, I mean, you got, no, it's my, uh, yep, yeah, it's my right to privacy because everything in your system is all registered and it's all part of the agency yep took off the sticker because yeah because dude it's my right to privacy if you got you guys have to legally violate my rights and you're going to do it on a live stream i'm telling you it's on page three in our documentation minimum penalties for trespassing upon american national rights are inherent nat natural rights unwarranted pedestrian stops Ten thousand dollars each incident. Five thousand dollars for every five minutes illegally detained. Okay. So if detained in handcuffs, it's a hundred thousand dollars per incident. Ten thousand dollars for every five minutes detained after a signed warrant must be present for an arrest to take place or a criminal act with an injured party. You guys must have. Oh, I believe you're about to get some bracelets, but that's just because you're breaking the law. So keep going. You're doing great, man. They look really impressed. Hey, by the way, ha have you ever collected on any of those fees, by the way? No, and we have a federal court case filed, which okay. it, it, in case of one of your agents violate my rights, we're able to file claims against your legal li liability bond. So, I mean, you're welcome to violate my rights if you want to, but I mean... And tonight you tell us that the car's unregistered, it's uninsured, and, uh, and you no, 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 sir, it is insured. I'm I'm trying to hand you my documents, okay? And you're you're refusing to take them? So We, we have to verify it through our... Yep. So this is official notice to what, what police department are you? Cambridge? Cambridge? All right, this is official notice to the Cambridge Police Department of my private capacity. Thank you. You've taken it. It becomes legally binding, and it is advantageous for you to read that. Yep, that's yours, sir. I have multiple copies. Of course you do. Your scam wouldn't work if you only had one copy. So it's advantageous for you to read that. What about your vehicle? Is your vehicle insured? Yes, that's my insurance. It's, I'm, I'm uh, in bonded underneath our nation's silver bond. And, and it's for liability. The American national people are the creator. If you believe I violated any laws or rights, you have to so contact it's not, so it's not registered. Not registered. No, jackass. If they think you violated the law, they're going to arrest you. They're not going to call some made-up embassy in California, which is probably just another loser like you living in a damn minivan. Wait a minute. Did Chile ch start a sh church? It's in, my, it's in a private trust. So it's not registered? No, it's not. No, not registered, sir. Tom, is that your name since you were born? Or did you yes, name? yes. My name? name is Thomas Edward, Edward Humphrey, yeah. You went to middle school, high school, that name? Yes. Okay. I'm not, I've canceled all my contracts. Well, there's usually a record still. That's yeah, you know. when, when you, there's no such thing as, uh, you can't just expunge your record from a, a driver's license or anything else. So right now you're unregistered, you're uninsured. I am. And you're unlicensed. I've canceled all my contracts. It's a, it, it's a black, Black's Law definition of driving is to be engaged in commerce on public roads. I'm not I'm not a commercial driver. I'm a traveler, sir. I'll take it, yeah. Right? Unregistered and uninsured, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Well, thank you so much. Can you step up on the Thomas, please? Wow, guys. I, I, I live in here, man. This is... You? are under arrest with all the respect to you I mean, we're, we're treating you respectfully and, and like you said fines uh, and penalties and everything's in there so. what's that we're, we're treating you with all due respect and, and, and whatnot but step up 
So what are you guys, tow my vehicle? Alright. See, sometimes it, does, it just, you know, they won't listen to you, but they've been put on notice, though, so. And sometimes they just won't believe your bullshit. Why am I being put under arrest, though? Seriously? You haven't figured it out yet. Are you so ingrained into your bullshit that you think it's actually real? Wow. And if you're tired of going in bracelets, I got one piece of advice for you. Stop breaking the law, asshole! Because you are driving unlicensed, sir. You're driving an unlicensed vehicle and you're driving an uninsured vehicle, okay? Do you have anything in your pocket you're going to poke their stick with? No, sir. Okay. Do me a favor, walk back here and find my car. Can, can you fix this? Hand? Right. Right. It's like stuck. Right. Right. Is there anything in the vehicle? No, Would sir. You like, you like a phone? Would you like a phone? Uh, yes, please. And I need my manila envelope. With all these papers. And when they take you to jail, your bullshit documents aren't going to get you out of there. It's not going to work on them either. Anyway, guys, this is why his vehicle is in inbound. Shocking, isn't it? Anyway, guys, it's Wrangler. I'm out of here. I love y'all.